Hello, hello, hello! What's happening, everybody? MCOC Droid does back again for another video on Marvel Contest of Champions. Happy Monday, everybody. Uh, I've got a busy week of content ahead. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, I posted my schedule or earlier this week. Excuse me. Um, so I do have a bunch of stuff coming up, um, including finally dropping the project that I have been hinting at for a while uh, over this upcoming weekend. However, right now we are going to talk about the 21.0 patch notes that got released earlier today. Uh, finally, because the update is coming in less than two days. It is coming Wednesday morning. Uh, you know, Pacific Standard Time is, you know, right around 10 a.m., which is when the current event quest will end. The new one will begin. Uh, so rather than going through the whole thing, I'm going to try and focus on some of the highlights, some of the more interesting things that I saw. Um, there will be a bunch of links down in the description below. There will be, of course, the link to the patch notes themselves, um, along with a couple of other links that I will reference throughout the video. Uh, so again, I'm not going to read everything verbatim because we'd be here for forever. Uh, but I do, like I said, kind of want to focus on some of the more important stuff that I saw. Um, in addition to the regular event quest, of course, which, like I said, will start Wednesday morning. Um, the, it looks like there are going to be not one, but two side quests happening this month. So one we already knew about uh, through some data mining. Um, and as the second one there, the Champions Clash. It seems to be a celebrity challenge type event uh, centered around the champion who is uh, going to be the first champion this month. It's kind of confusing saying the word champion so much, but he will be the uh, first new character, I will say, uh, that's getting released this month. And again, I'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, but again, so it does seem to be a celebrity challenge type event with the standard four difficulties, um, you know, six paths with five fights on each path along with the final boss. However, if you see here at the very bottom of that picture that I just put up there, uh, take a swing through this variation of the regular champion challenge featuring the new epic difficulty, which requires summoners to fight the gauntlet from start to finish. So they've done this before on some of the celebrity challenges where instead of having the branching paths, where you can choose to do like one path at a time and then just jump straight to the boss. This new mode, which by the way is the first time they have this fifth difficulty for a celebrity challenge, uh, this new mode will seem to mirror that, where it's not going to be, um, you know, select your own path and do a little bit here and then you can get out. You will have to do it all in one sitting. So from start to finish, there are no breaks. So definitely be prepared for that. I am excited to see what the rewards are going to be. Just seeing what the standard rewards are for, you know, your regular celebrity challenge. Um, of course, hopefully more five star shards, maybe some six star shards. Looking for more tier two alpha frags. I mean, a man can dream. Maybe a five star awakening gem crystal. That's probably too much to ask. Um, or some tier 5 basic catalysts would also be nice. Who knows? Uh, but that won't be coming for a couple of more weeks. What seems to be coming first, maybe? Not sure. There has not been a separate uh, blog post or forum post about this yet. Is the first one you see up there, back issues number one. It looks like they're going to uh, retread some earlier quests, maybe monthly quests or special quests that they've done in the past. Uh, this first one is going to be focused on Ultron. Uh, it does say coming later in November. I don't believe that was or, um, originally written there when the post first came out earlier this morning. I think they just recently added that in. Um, it's currently just after 7 p.m. my time here uh, in California. So I think I saw they made a change about an hour or so ago. So, yeah, maybe that will also be coming around the same time as the Champion Challenge. Who knows? We shall see. But it does appear to be another side quest. Um, they mention, as you see right there, will allow you to experience classic quests in one of two types. Classic, which seems to be, as they say, largely unchanged from the quest in its original format, while Variant is built only for the Mightiest Summoners. I think I saw it over on the uh, blog post, so on the uh, Marvel Contest of Champions website, that it's going to maybe only be for those who are uncollected, or at the very least those who are level 40 and above. Uh, so definitely excited to see both of these quests um, and, of course, particularly both of those rewards. 
Uh, dungeons are also getting a boost. Again, uh, um, won't go into all of it. As you see right there, they're coming back on the 19th. Uh, so that is two weeks from today, the filming of this video. So two Mondays from now. Um, they talk about friend progression, where they're going to be um, extra rewards, both for running dungeons with your friends, additionally complete rooms via matchmaking to earn a matchmaking bonus reward, so then also bonus rewards from there. Um, uh, rematch is a nice little extra feature they have there. They mention these point multiplier boosts that you can buy. It looks like they are only for units, uh, in case you just want to try and get through dungeons quicker. Uh, hopefully just, you know, put in the time and you, uh, should never need to waste units on those boosts. Um, clear reward tiers. This is something I want to show real fast. Moving away from hidden prestige ratings by implementing a system where reward tiers and milestones are based on having the necessary number of champions of a certain star rating. So they did also put out a 21.0, um, update video on their social media challenges. And one of the things they showed are these reward tiers. So here's a perfect example. Uh, for tier one, it looks like you need 16 or more five-star champions. So to get that, it unlocks uh, these top milestone rewards they show you right here, but it unlocks this chaos crystal. Now they have said numerous times, uh, dungeon artifacts are now a permanent currency. And uh, when these dungeons come back, they will have new crystals. So to show super fast, um, these are the current dungeon crystals that are um, live right now. As you can see, they only have about six and a half days left. I do have, as you can see right there, over 28, almost 29,000 artifacts. None of the current crystals were really like super, super hooking me in. There are, of course, a good number of champs that I'd love to pull from these. Um, and the Chaos one, this one right here, is probably the best uh, for me, at least for my roster. But... You know, like I said, none of these just really had enough chance for me to want to, you know, buy it right as soon as I got the 27,000 artifacts. So I am going to save them, actually. I know most people have been opening their five stars pretty much as soon as they have gotten the 27,000. I'm going against the grain, and I am keeping my artifacts for now. Um, so I will be very interested to see the next set of crystals that will be popping up. Um, when the dungeons return on November 19th, which again is two weeks from today. Um, so yeah, like they say, more info to come. Uh, all right, moving right along. Um, talking about profile and progression, they've already put out forum posts on these, so I'm not going to go into them too much. Um, for the profile pick, you will be able to choose any champion that you have in your roster as your profile champion. So again, here's an example from the uh the video that kabam put out and there will be a link in the description as well for this so as you can see right there venom looks like their top champ but they have all of these other champs that are available uh in their roster so you can pick any one of them however they will not have the appropriate banner you see venom has that five star banner around him but the others would not it would just have that gray boring background uh they will also have new icons that you can buy uh badges whatever you want to call them uh, profile picks you can see is the tab right there. So again, they've shown off some of these and they're different tiers and they're different costs. Uh, the, the most expensive you can see right there is there's one for the collector. Um, I've also seen Spider-Man and you know, they'll, they'll probably have some others that get, uh, rotated around, but it is 500 units. So, I mean, it's cool. It's great. Um, I really love the fact that you can, uh, choose what champion is your profile picture um, I think it's a great feature that obviously a number of us have wanted for a very very long time um, but I'm not too sure about uh, the the new icons again it's cool and it looks great but 500 units could definitely go to some other things uh, and be used better so I don't know we'll see not sure that I'll be uh, going for those anytime soon but i will definitely be switching up my champion i think see how it goes uh real quick let's talk about some bugs that they are fixing um for beast it looks like the updated heads up display responsiveness when you're switching between his two stances which will be cool uh we'll be looking forward to seeing that uh ghost rider fixing an issue where he had permanent lifesteal when affected by ability accuracy reduction that's a, a fix that I didn't even know it needed, but that's definitely cool. 
Um, Iceman fixing an issue where multiple stacks of Cold Snap will all expire when the first expires. Obviously, that is very helpful, so glad to see that. Uh, Killmonger has a couple of things, a separate I icon for his reverberation cooldown. And, excuse me, and his indestructible charges are correctly interacting with ability accuracy, which makes sense. The biggest one, well, the biggest two, actually, are Medusa and Mephisto. For Medusa, that is a big one that needed to happen very quickly uh, because it has made her an even more painful Alliance War Defender. And I should know because I put my five-star rank five on defense every single time. Uh, um, so it fixes an issue where her auto block was not consuming three Fury buffs on activation. If you don't know what that means, um, typically when she had her three stacks of Fury, and she maybe had other debuffs on her, like a stack of bleed or two stacks of armor break or whatever it was. When you hit into her to trigger her auto block, it wasn't stripping away all three fury buffs like it's supposed to. It was stripping away those other debuffs first. So if she had her three furies and two bleeds and you triggered her auto block, it would take away those two bleeds and then leave one stack of fury. So that would mean that she's able to get back to three furies a lot quicker than she is supposed to. So that is definitely a very helpful change. Mephisto will now gain power when he is affected by another Mephisto's aura of incineration. So that is interesting. So those Mephisto versus Mephisto fights uh, could get a lot crazier, especially if you're throwing, you know, a bunch of L2s over and over and over again. And so both Mephistos would essentially be uh, gaining a bunch of power, even more so if they are awakened, because then when a Mephisto gets hit, he has a chance to trigger an Aura of Incineration. So that that could turn into some crazy fun times really fast. And then um, Sentinel resolved an issue where his signature was not increasing in potency. Um, let's see, some other stuff. Oh, it got cut off, but there is also an issue uh, that's being fixed with the Wisdom Mastery, where the uh, the increased amount of experience uh, was not being gained when you were moving over a node in quests, if you see at the top right there. So definitely, uh, definitely a good one to be fixed uh, for those maybe starting out and were using that mastery to get XP much quicker. Uh, and then some other fixes in here as well. Lots of quality of life stuff, animations, etc., etc. Lastly, again, like I said, they can the order of the champions for this month coming up first is the champion himself that looks pretty darn cool I must say um, and he is coming this Thursday followed in two weeks by I, I keep wanting to say Egon and that makes me think of uh, Ghostbusters but Aegon uh, will be coming two weeks after that uh, so two weeks from this upcoming Thursday, which is Thanksgiving Day. I don't know if they're sticking to that or not. I don't remember what's happened in years past, but for those of us in the United States, that is Thanksgiving Day. So not sure what's going to happen with that. Um, I will be very intrigued to, uh, to see what happens there. And of course, after that is Black Friday, along with Cyber Monday. So could be seeing some potential goodness coming. Who knows? We shall see. Um, but yeah, this could be a good month. This could be a very, very good month. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to the new champions. I'm looking forward to all of those quests, um, especially if it is more kind of traditional, you know, story quest type uh, setups along with the celebrity challenge as well so I am definitely excited but that is going to wrap it up for this video again links to all of this stuff um, the, the original patch notes that came out earlier today the video that they put up on social media um, and I will also put in the links for the uh, in fact I think I even forgot to talk about the other part of the profile and progression uh, the story mode progression where they are going to be introducing new titles and badges for those who as you can see right there have completed act 2, act 3, act 4 but have not yet become uncollected um, 
So I will put a link uh, to those forum posts down in the description below so you can check them out. Um, also good additions, again, for those who have not yet become uncollected, it gives them a nice little progression there um, to give their four hour crystals and their daily crystals a boost as well i remember seeing i believe in that forum post uh, they talk about offers how you've seen sometimes that some offers are only available to uncollected uh people that that will also be starting to incorporate some of these other titles as well so they don't feel as left out um yeah could be good but it's definitely good it's like i said it's a nice progression system um for those who are still working through excuse me who are still working through act two act three etc etc now that's it. <laughs> anyway, like I said, um, all the links will be in the description below for all of your information needs. If you enjoyed this, smash that like button. Uh, comment down below if you have the hype for this month coming up. I certainly do. I am excited. Like I said, um, I am ready to test out this new content. Um, eager for these new champions. And yes, like I said, I'm a little eager for uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Just saying. Uh, but yeah, that will wrap it up. So thank you everybody for watching. Please feel free to subscribe if you have not already. I am working towards the 1K sub mark. And again, seriously, all the support has been so, so, so incredibly awesome. So thank you for that. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I will see you all next time.